Hi, um, my name's uh, Major Mike Stanek from the Salvation Army here in Belgium and my responsibilities are as the leader of the work of the Salvation Army here in this country. The reason I'm here today is to say thank you to the, the Church of the Latter-day Saints because of their wonderful uh, cooperation that we've had together. Um, I received uh, an email asking me if there was anything that uh, their congregation could do to help the Salvation Army with refugees. So today the congregation have been together, families, kids, adults all coming together to make up parcels and we were happy to come along and receive them. So uh, it's wonderful that people of faith can work together in partnership for the need of other people. This has been a wonderful activity. Uh, it was done at the initiative of, of many of the members of the ward who really wanted to help out uh, with the many migrants that we have in the city of Brussels and as well an opportunity to teach our children and our families the importance of giving to our communities. So we really were happy to, to gather together uh, from youth, young children to our elderly and, and being able to support our local community. This was an opportunity for us to uh, work with the Salvation Army, uh, which is a, uh, here, which is locally here in Brussels, and uh, it was a wonderful opportunity to get to know them and also have them join us in our building, and they were wonderful participants in this activity. The supplies we we give today will help uh, the individuals. I think just have something that makes them feel um, remembered help them feel that they can uh, succeed in a new life that they are seeking and just feel that they aren't um, completely without anything, that they have something to, to start new with. The effort that you have put in today is excellent and a lot of those bags that you have filled out are particularly for children to help the children that have had to lose their homes because of the war that's going on in Syria. They've had to run away from the people that are doing all the shooting and the killing and they had to come across all the way across the sea, across the oceans and they've ended up here in Europe. So again I just want to thank you as a Christian and sharing with brothers and sisters here that in the name of Jesus we are serving the Lord and we're serving the people in need. So God bless you all and thank you for all your efforts this day and the days that led up to this day. Bless you all. We call ourselves brothers and sisters for a very good reason. And as we walk down the streets of our community, may we be aware of those who are in need, that we might extend a hand, that we might be there for them in whatever way we can, that the Spirit might walk with us, and that we might be better servants in the hands of our Heavenly Father. This is a special time for the Brussels Grimbergen Ward. We have had a number of incidents here in Brussels which has brought to, to us the importance of reaching out. More importantly, being spiritually united. And this has certainly helped us in, in our efforts to come together as a ward community. It is truly important that we remember that we are not alone and that we need to reach out, look for those who need our help, not only within the church, but indeed uh, to all those who are in our greater community. It is with great love and kindness that we have done this activity, and we hope that we might be able to participate in future events like this.